To keep her parents funded until Amy was ready to take over writing the Melody Malone books, River embarked on a third book, The Ruby's Curse, and broke back into her old cell in Stormcage in 5147 to get some peace and quiet. There she met Ventrion who she read passages from her story until he felt able to confess why he was in prison, due to crimes he'd committed under the influence of a reality-altering device which they named the Eye of Horus after the titular ruby of her book. When Stormcage was attacked, River deduced the raiders were seeking Ventrion after word of their conversations had leaked and gave him her Vortex Manipulator to retrieve the device and meet her at her home in 1939 New York. She fled the raiders by leaping into open space, hoping that her future self had arranged a rescue. Jack Harkness came to her aid, having been summoned by the doctor's automated helpline, and gave her a lift to 1939. Expecting Ventrion, River was instead met by alien gangster Death who threatened her parents if she did not hand over the device when Ventrion arrived. Their confrontation was interrupted by a package from Amy, including a finished version of the Ruby's Curse and her Vortex Manipulator. Deducing this had come from Ventrion in the future, River intercepted him when he arrived and diverted him and he used the older manipulator to travel to ITE previous destination. Arriving in Egypt in 39, River found Ventrion on his deathbed. He explained the finished book had clues as to how to destroy the Eye of Horus, which he was now too weak to do himself, before dying. River scoured his version of the book for clues, being baffled by a riddle he'd added at the start and the addition of a character called Phil. She attempted to find Cleopatra's tomb, reasoning that since the plot of the book focused on an expedition to find it that was where the Eye currently was, however realized after multiple attempts she was being constantly driven back by a silent guard who also erased memories of her past attempts. Her frustration at this led to her fenting at the book, which triggered an AI that Ventrion had left hidden in the novel, with the personality of Melody Malone. Melody possessed a cat and worked with River to solve the riddle, with them correctly finding equations hidden in the novel to destroy the eye and embarking on fruitless trips back in time to meet Julius Caesar and Cleopatra. Even more frustrated, River embarked on a direct assault on the tomb again with Melody able to help her overcome the silent this time and the other traps left by Ventrion to stop someone claiming the eye, however fell for a trick by touching a ruby instead of the true eye. Thrown back in time a few months she met Cleopatra and devised a plan to take her place by playing dead, enabling the real Cleopatra to escape alive without changing history and giving her easy access to the tomb again. Back in the tomb again, River deduced the true interface for the eye and upon touching it found herself as a character in the Ruby's Curse. She played along to help Melody solve the murder mystery and realized that Phil was actually Cleopatra's son Caesarion, hidden in fiction by Ventrion with the eye in his possession. River claimed the eye and returned to reality, surprised to find a version of Melody had appeared alongside her. She used the eye's power to reunite Caesarion with his mother but began to fall under its hold and was merging with Melody in the process. A brief mental link with the Thirteenth Doctor helped her stay focused, enabling her to use the eye to dispatch death, however she struggled to resist its pull and could not remember Ventran's equations to destroy it. Working together with Melody however, River stood up to the eye and they overwhelmed it, at the cost of Melody's existence. River subsequently met up with her parents to explain what had been going on and was surprised when Amy pointed out the Ruby's curse was now rewritten to match her experiences since Stormcage. For fear of exposing her parents as time travelers, they resolved to publish it in the 21st century instead and River was touched to find a final message at the end of the book from Melody to herself. Prose, The Ruby's Curse